Manchester is a city in the southern part of the U.S. state of New Hampshire. It is the most populous city in northern New England, an area comprising the states of Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. As of the 2010 census the city had a population of 109,565, up slightly to 111,196 in a 2017 estimate. The combined Manchester-Nashua metropolitan area had a 2010 population of 400,721. Manchester is along with Nashua one of two seats of Hillsborough County, the state of New Hampshire's most populous. Manchester lies near the northern end of the northeast megalopolis and straddles the banks of the Merrimack River. It was first named by the merchant and inventor Samuel Blodgett, namesake of Samuel Blodgett Park and Blodgett Street in the city's north end. His vision was to create a great industrial centre similar to that of the original Manchester in England, which was the world's first industrialised city. Manchester often appears favourably in lists ranking the affordability and livability of US cities, placing particularly high in small business climate, affordability, upward mobility, and education level. Topic history Native Penacook Indians called Amoskeg Falls on the Merrimack River, the area that became the heart of Manchester, Namauskeg, meaning good fishing place. In 1722, John Goffey III settled beside Cohas Brook, later building a dam and sawmill at what was dubbed Old Harry's Town. It was granted by Massachusetts in 1727 as Tingstown to veterans of Queen Anne's War who served in 1703 under Captain William Ting. But at New Hampshire's 1741 separation from Massachusetts, the grant was ruled invalid and substituted with Wilton, Maine, resulting in a 1751 rechartering by Governor Benning Wentworth as Dairyfield, a name that lives on in Dairyfield Park, Dairyfield Country Club, and the private Dairyfield School. In 1807, Samuel Blodgett opened a canal and lock system to allow vessels passage around the falls, part of a network developing to link the area with Boston. He envisioned a great industrial centre arising, the Manchester of America, in reference to Manchester, England, then at the forefront of the Industrial Revolution. In 1809, Benjamin Pritchard and others built a water-powered cotton spinning mill on the western bank of the Merrimack. Apparently following Blodgett's suggestion, Dairyfield was renamed Manchester in 1810, the year the mill was incorporated as the Amoskeg Cotton and Woolen Manufacturing Company. It would be purchased in 1825 by entrepreneurs from Massachusetts, expanded to three mills in 1826, and then incorporated in 1831 as the Amoskeg Manufacturing Company. Amoskeg engineers and architects planned a model company town on the Eastern Bank, founded in 1838 with Elm Street as its main thoroughfare. Incorporation as a city followed for Manchester in 1846, soon home to the largest cotton mill in the world, Mill No. 11, stretching 900 feet 270 meters long by 103 feet 31 meters wide, and containing 4,000 looms. Other products made in the community included shoes, cigars, and paper. The Amoskeg foundry made rifles, sewing machines, textile machinery, fire engines, and locomotives in a division called the Amoskeg Locomotive Works later, the Manchester Locomotive Works. The rapid growth of the mills demanded a large influx of workers, resulting in a flood of immigrants, particularly French Canadians. Many residents descend from these workers. The Amoskeg Manufacturing Company went out of business in 1935, although its red brick mills have been renovated for other uses. Indeed, the mill town's 19th-century affluence left behind some of the finest Victorian commercial, municipal, and residential architecture in the state. Geography Manchester is in south-central New Hampshire, 18 miles 29 kilometers south of Concord, the state capital, and the same distance north of Nashua, the second-largest city in the state. Manchester is 51 miles 82 kilometers north northwest of Boston, the largest city in New England. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 35.0 square miles, 90.6 square kilometers, of which 33.1 square miles, 85.7 square kilometers are land and 1.9 square miles, 4.8 square kilometers are water, comprising 5.33% of the city. Manchester is drained by the Merrimack River and its tributaries the Piscataquag River and Cohas Brook. Massabesic Lake is on the eastern border. 
The highest point in Manchester is atop Wellington Hill, where the elevation reaches 570 feet 170 meters above sea level. Neighbourhoods <inaudible> 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 The Manchester Planning Board, in its 2010 master plan, defines 25 neighbourhoods within the city. Liveabom has drawn maps of the neighbourhoods and neighbourhood village centres as defined by the city. Recognition of particular neighbourhoods varies, with some having neighbourhood associations, but none have any legal or political authority. The major neighbourhoods, historically, include Amoskeg, Rimmon Heights, Notre Dame, McGregorville and Piscataquag, Granite Square also known as Piscat on the west side, and the north end, Janeville, Corey Square, Hallsville and Bakersville on the east side, along with Youngsville and Goffey's Falls on the periphery of the city. In 2007, the city began a neighborhood initiatives program to ensure that our neighborhoods are vibrant, livable areas since these are the portions of the city where most of the residents spend their time living, playing, shopping and going to school. The purpose of this initiative is to foster vibrancy and redevelopment in the neighborhoods, and to restore the sense of neighborhood communities that had been overlooked in the city for some time. The city began the program with streetscape and infrastructure improvements in the Rimmon Heights neighborhood of the West Side, which has spurred growth and investment in and by the community. Despite the success of the program in Rimmon Heights, it was unclear in recent years how the city planned to implement similar programs throughout the city. The city announced plans for extending the Neighborhood Initiatives program to the Hollow neighborhood in February 2012. <inaudible> Surrounding development The urban core of Manchester extends beyond its city limits in several directions, particularly west and south of downtown, including Penardville, in the town of Goffstown, Penardville is a fairly dense, former streetcar suburb along Mast Road to the west of Manchester. It is home to St Anselm College. River Corridor, in the town of Bedford, the River Corridor is a mid-density, primarily shopping district along South River Road about two and a half miles from downtown Manchester. The area has recently implemented tax increment financing to improve and maintain infrastructure, and the town of Bedford's most recent master plan has called for increasing mixed-use development and promoting walkability and transit use, though the Manchester Transit Authority bus service in the area was recently curtailed following a decision by the town of Bedford to discontinue funding service. Northeast Bedford, the northeast section of Bedford is a mainly low to mid-density suburban residential area near the terminus of the former St. Joseph's streetcar line along Donald Street and post-war development along Boynton Street, with some businesses scattered throughout. The area does not have a formal name, but the section along Boynton Street has variously been called the Plains and the Pines. The northern area is more rural with large portions owned by St. Anselm College. South Hookset, the southeastern portion of the town of Hookset is a sprawling, suburban shopping area north of Manchester. Manchester-Boston Regional Airport near the city's southeastern corner, and the surrounding industrial areas extend into neighbouring Londonderry. <laughs> Climate Manchester has a four-season humid continental climate DFA, with long, cold, snowy winters, and very warm and somewhat humid summers, spring and fall in between are crisp and relatively brief transitions. The monthly daily average temperature ranges from 24.4 degrees Fahrenheit in January to 72.5 degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius in July. On average, there are 11 days of highs at or above 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius and 3.0 days of lows at or below 0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 18 degrees Celsius annually. Precipitation is well spread throughout the year, though winter is the driest season while March tends to be the wettest. Record temperatures range from minus 29 degrees Fahrenheit minus 34 degrees Celsius on February 16, 1943, up to 103 degrees Fahrenheit 39 degrees Celsius on July 22, 2011. Demographics 
The city is the center of the Manchester, New Hampshire, New England City and Town Metropolitan Area which had a population of 187,596 as of the 2010 census. As of the 2010 census, the city had a population of 109,565, and its 2017 population estimate was 111,196. The Manchester Nashua metropolitan area, with an estimated population in 2015 of 406,678, is home to nearly one third of the population of New Hampshire. As of the census of 2010, there were 109,565 residents, 45,766 households, and 26,066 families in the city. The population density was 3320.2 people per square mile, 1281.5 per square kilometers. There were 49288 housing units at an average density of 1493.6 per square miles, 576.5 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 86.1% white, 4.1% black or African American, 0.30% Native American, 3.7% Asian, 0.1% Pacific Islander, 3.1% from some other race, and 2.7% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 8.1% of the population. Non-Hispanic whites were 82.0% of the population, down from 98.0% in 1980. In 2011, the largest ancestry groups within the city's population were French and French Canadian, 23.9%, Irish, 19.5%, English, 9.9%, German, 8.6%, and Italian, 8.1%. At the 2010 census, there were 45,766 households, out of which 26.4% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 38.4% were married couples living together, 13.1% had a female householder with no husband present, and 43.0% were non-families, 32.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 9.8% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.34 persons and the average family size was 2.99. In the city, the population was spread out with 21.6% under the age of 18, 10.2% from 18 to 24, 30.4% from 25 to 44, 26.0% from 45 to 64, and 11.8% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 36.0 years. For every 100 females, there were 98.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 96.6 males. In 2011, the estimated median income for a household in the city was $51,082, and the median income for a family was $63,045. Male full time workers had a median income of $43,583 versus $37,155 for females. The per capita income for the city was $26,131, 14.1% of the population and 9.6% of families were below the poverty line. Out of the total people living in poverty, 21.8% were under the age of 18 and 9.9% were 65 or older. Rankings <inaudible> 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 Manchester often appears favorably in lists ranking the affordability and livability of U.S. cities. In 2015, CNNMoney.com ranked it number one in the U.S. for small businesses, and in 2009, another site ranked Manchester 13th in a list of the 100 best cities in the U.S. to live and launch a business. In addition, Kuipelinger voted Manchester the second most tax-friendly city in the U.S., second only to Anchorage, Alaska. Also in 2009, Forbes magazine ranked the Manchester region first on its list of America's 100 Cheapest Places to Live. According to the Equality of Opportunity Project, released in 2013, Manchester ranked as the seventh best metropolitan area in the U.S. in terms of upward income mobility. In 2014, Forbes magazine ranked the city among the top five most educated cities in the United States. Economy 
Manchester is northern New England's largest city, and as of the 2014 U.S. Census population estimate was the most populous New England city north of Boston, including other Massachusetts cities. Its metropolitan area is one of the fastest growing in New England. Its economy has changed greatly, as Manchester was a textile mill town about 40 years ago. In March 2009, Kuipelinger voted Manchester the second most tax-friendly city in the U.S., after Anchorage, Alaska. Earlier in the year, CNN rated Manchester 13th in its top 100 best places in the U.S. to live and launch a business. Manchester is nicknamed the Queen City, as well as the more recently coined, Manch Vegas. In 1998, Manchester was named the number one small city in the East by Money Magazine. The Mall of New Hampshire, on Manchester's southern fringe near the intersection of Interstates 93 and 293, is the city's main retail center. In 2001, the Verizon Wireless Arena, a venue seating more than 10,000, opened for major concerts and sporting events, enhancing the city's downtown revitalization efforts with a major hotel and convention center already in place across the street from the arena. The building was renamed the SNHU Arena in 2016, after Manchester's Southern New Hampshire University. Manchester is the home of Segway, Inc., manufacturers of a two-wheeled, self-balancing electric vehicle invented by Dean Kamen. Downtown Downtown Manchester's one city hall plaza stands 22 stories high, quickly followed by the all-black, 20-story Brady Sullivan Plaza, formerly known as the Hampshire Plaza. They are the tallest New England buildings north of Cambridge, Massachusetts. The Sullivan Plaza is shorter than City Hall Plaza by a mere 16 feet meters. Other major buildings include the 18-story Wall Street Apartments Tower, the 14-story, recently renamed Brady Sullivan Tower, which was the former New Hampshire Insurance Building, at 12 stories, the Radisson Hotel and Convention Center Manchester, which serves the SNHU Arena across the street, the Carpenter Center, a former hotel, and the Hampshire Towers Condominium Building, the 10-story Citizens Bank Building, which was, for much of the early and mid-20th century, Manchester's iconic Amoskeg Bank skyscraper, and several high-rises of or exceeding 10 stories on the city's west side. This partial list only includes residential and commercial buildings and does not include hospitals, spires and domes, etc. The SNHU Arena has become the centerpiece of downtown Manchester. The venue can seat slightly less than 12,000 patrons for concerts, and at least 10,000 seat configurations for sporting and other forms of entertainment. The arena is home to the Manchester Monarchs, the local ECHL affiliate of the Los Angeles Kings. It has also hosted major recording artists and comedians, national touring theatrical productions, family-oriented shows, and fairs since it opened in 2001. The Northeast Delta Dental Stadium formerly Merchantzato.com Stadium is a baseball park on the Merrimack River in downtown Manchester and is home to the local AA baseball affiliate of the Toronto Blue Jays, the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Historic Gill Stadium supported professional minor league baseball into the early 21st century and continues to be a viable and popular downtown venue for many sporting and entertainment events, seating nearly 4,000 patrons, depending on the event format. In recent years there has been continual redevelopment of the Amoskeg Millyard and its residential historic district. The increasing popularity of downtown living has caused many properties originally built as tenement housing for mill workers in the 19th century to be converted to stylish, eclectic residential condominiums. Many new retail stores and higher education institutions, including the University of New Hampshire at Manchester, have been uniquely retrofitted into properties along Commercial and Canal Street. Shopping Manchester has three main retail areas, Downtown Manchester, South Willow Street NH Route 28, and 2nd Street NH Route 3A on the west side. The Mall of New Hampshire is on South Willow Street, and, with more than 125 stores, is one of the largest shopping centres in southern New Hampshire and central New England. Arts and culture 
Cultural landmarks include the historic Palace Theater, the Courier Museum of Art, the New Hampshire Institute of Art, the Franco-American Center, the Manchester Historic Association Milliard Museum, the Massabesic Audubon Center, the Amoskeg Fishways Learning and Visitors Center, the Lawrence L. Lee Scouting Museum and Max I. Silver Library, and the Sea Science Center. Valley Cemetery, the resting place of numerous prominent citizens since 1841, is an early example of a garden-style burial ground. The John F. Kennedy Memorial Coliseum is another, smaller venue in downtown Manchester with a capacity of approximately 3,000 seats. It was completed in 1963, serves as home ice for the Manchester Central and Memorial High School hockey teams, and is home to the Southern New Hampshire Skating Club, the nickname, Manch Vegas was derived from illegal gambling in local businesses during the late 1980s or early 1990s. Many pizza shops and local bars had video poker machines that would pay out real money. The nickname was coined following a citywide bust of these machines. It was then adopted as a lampoon of the city's limited entertainment opportunities. The term has since become a source of pride as the city's entertainment scene has grown. By 2003 it was well enough known that a note on virtualtourist.com said, "...residents reflect the regional dry humor by referring to sedate Manchester as Manch Vegas." By 2005, an article in Manchester's Hippo a local alternative weekly said that then-Mayor Robert A. Baines, "...is pushing to replace the nickname Manch Vegas with Manchotten," meaning Manchester plus Manhattan. In 2009 the film Monsters, Marriage and Murder in Manch Vegas was released referencing Manchester's popular nickname and using much of the city as its backdrop. Manchester has a growing collective of artists, due in large part to the influx of young students at the New Hampshire Institute of Art, Southern New Hampshire University, and the University of New Hampshire at Manchester. Slam Free or Die, New Hampshire's only weekly slam poetry venue, is in Manchester and was voted best poetry venue in the world by readers of Right Bloody Publishing. The Manchester City Library has served the city's residents since the mid-1850s and has been housed in the Carpenter Memorial Building on Pine Street since 1914. There is a branch location on North Main Street on the west side. <laughs> Sports The city is home to McIntyre Ski Area, which opened in 1971. There are also college sports teams that play in and out of the city. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Professional. Manchester is the only city in New Hampshire with professional sports teams. The SNHU Arena is home to the ECHL's Manchester Monarchs. From 2001 to 2015, Manchester had a team, also called the Manchester Monarchs, that played in the American Hockey League. In their final season in Manchester, the Monarchs won the league championship. Northeast Delta Dental Stadium is home to the three-time Eastern League champions, the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. The following is a list of Manchester's professional and minor league sports teams. Government Manchester is incorporated as a city under the laws of the state of New Hampshire, and operates under a strong mayoral form of government. The mayor serves as chairman of the 14-member board of mayor and aldermen, the city's legislative body. Each of Manchester's 12 wards elects a single alderman, and two additional at-large members are elected citywide. The mayor also serves as the chair of the board of school committee. Like the Board of Aldermen, the school board has 12 members elected by ward and two at-large members. The school board is not a city department, rather, it is a school district coterminous with the city, which obtains financing from the Board of Mayor and Aldermen. In the New Hampshire Senate, Manchester is represented by three state senators, all Democrats Kevin Cavanaugh District 16 Wards 1, 2, 12 Donna Sousey, District 18, Wards 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Lou Delisandro, District 20, Wards 3, 4, 10, 11. In the New Hampshire Executive Council, Manchester is included within the fourth district and is represented by Democrat Chris C. Pappas. Manchester is included within New Hampshire's first congressional district and is represented by Democrat Carol Shea Porter in the U.S. House of Representatives. 
At the presidential level, Manchester is fairly independent but like most other large cities, it does have a slight democratic tilt. George W. Bush narrowly carried the city by 170 votes in 2004, and other presidential elections have remained close. Education Public schools Manchester's public school system is run by the Manchester School District. Manchester School District has four public high schools Manchester High School West Manchester High School Central Manchester Memorial High School Manchester School of Technology Manchester School District has four public middle schools and 14 elementary schools. Topic: <laughs> Private Schools. Manchester is served by three private high schools. Trinity High School, a private Roman Catholic high school. The Derryfield School, a private school serving 6th through 12th grades. Holy Family Academy, a small Roman Catholic private school serving 7th through 12th grades in addition. Mount Zion Christian Schools, a non-denominational, evangelical Christian school serving kindergarten through 12th grade. The Founders Academy, a charter school that began in the 2014-15 school year for children in 6th to 12th grades. St. Benedict Academy, a Catholic elementary school serving kindergarten through 6th grade formerly St. Raphael School and Westside Regional Catholic School. Robert B. Joliker School, a private special education school. St. Anthony's School, a K-6 Catholic elementary school. St. Casimir School, a K-8 Polish Catholic school. St. Catherine of Siena School, a pre-K to 6th grade parochial elementary school. Street. Joseph Regional Junior High School, a grade 7 to 8 regional Catholic junior high school. Topic: <laughs> Post-secondary schools. Area institutions of higher education, together enrolling more than 8000 students, include Franklin Pierce University at Manchester, Granite State College, Manchester, Hellenic American University Manchester Community College Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, Manchester New Hampshire Secondary Campus New Hampshire Institute of Art formerly called the Manchester Institute of Arts and Sciences St. Anselm College, in the Penardville neighborhood of the adjacent town of Goffstown, but with a Manchester mailing address and telephone exchange Southern New Hampshire University on the boundary between Manchester and Hookset Springfield College Manchester University of New Hampshire at Manchester Topic <inaudible> Media The city is served by the New Hampshire Union Leader, formerly the Manchester Union Leader, the Hippo, the Manchester Mirror, and the Manchester Inc. Link. The city is home to the following FM radio stations: WDER FM 92.1, Christian Preaching; Hot Hits 94.1, Top 40; WZID 95.7, Adult Contemporary; WMLL 96.5, Classic Hits. WOKQ 97.5 Country Music WGIR FM 101.1 Rock Music WFNQ 106 3 Classic Rock Topic Television Manchester is on the northern edge of the Boston television market Topic Infrastructure Topic Transportation Topic Air Manchester Boston Regional Airport, the fourth largest passenger and third largest cargo airport in New England, serves the city.
Topic: <inaudible> Roads. Interstates 93 and 293 and the FE Everett Turnpike are multi-lane highways that connect the metropolitan area to Concord and the White Mountains to the north and Nashua and Boston to the south. NH101 is a four-lane highway eastbound from Manchester to Hampton Beach, connecting the city with the southeastern part of the state and the seacoast, as well as Maine and the Massachusetts North Shore via Interstate 95. West of Manchester New Hampshire 101 is a two-lane highway serving as the main artery to Keene, the Monadnock region, and other points in southwestern New Hampshire, eventually connecting to NH9 and the state's border with Vermont. U.S. Route 3 and State Routes 3A, 28, 28A, and Bypass 28 also flow through the city. A direct highway access with the airport connects the Everett Turnpike just south of the city with the Manchester-Boston Regional Airport via a Merrimack River Crossing Connector Road known as Raymond Vichoric Drive in honor of a former Manchester mayor instrumental in getting the access road built. The connector road also intersects with highways US 3 and NH3A. Bus The Manchester Transit Authority runs several bus routes throughout the city and surrounding areas. Concord Trailways and Boston Express run commuter services to Boston and other parts of the state. Vermont Transit Lines, affiliated with Greyhound Lines has lines to Montreal. In 2008, Boston Express moved to suburb Londonderry, New Hampshire, and now provides limited service to downtown Manchester. Topic. Passenger rail future. The possibility of Manchester being served by the Capital Corridor, an extension of the MBTA commuter rail from its current terminus in Lowell, Massachusetts, to Concord, which would also include a stop at Manchester Boston Regional Airport, is being studied by the New Hampshire Rail Transit Authority and New Hampshire Department of Transportation, which have received federal funding for studying and planning the route. The Capital Corridor route is also being studied as a possible future high-speed rail line connecting Montreal and Boston. The Manchester-Nashua area is one of the 40 largest metropolitan areas in the United States without Amtrak service, with the expansion of Interstate 93 to 8 lanes from Salem to Manchester under construction. Space is being reserved in the median for potential future commuter or light rail service along this corridor. The I-93 transit study also suggested restoring service on the Manchester and Lawrence branch for commuter and freight rail. This corridor would support freight rail along with commuter, something that light rail cannot do. In late 2011, Dean Kamen, inventor of the Segway and owner of several buildings in the Milliard, as well as co-founder of First, proposed a rail loop for downtown and the Milliard. Several meetings have been held with area business and property owners, city officials, and local developers, but the idea is in the early conceptual stages. The downtown rail loop, if approved by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen, would be about three miles long. The loop would go from the Manchester Milliards, down south for about half a mile, then turn over Elm Street, separate into two rails, the other going towards Manchester Boston Regional Airport, and climb north to Bridge Street and up to the New Hampshire Tower, where it ends. Topic. Public safety Topic. Law enforcement Law enforcement is provided by the Manchester Police Department. The Manchester Police Station is at 405 Valley Street on the corner of Valley and Maple. The Hillsborough County Department of Corrections is at 445 Willow Street. The prison houses an average of 500 inmates. Topic: <inaudible> Fire Department. The city of Manchester is protected all year by the 200 paid professional firefighters (IAFF Local 856) of the City of Manchester Fire Department. The department is commanded by a chief of department, Daniel Goonan, one assistant chief, and five district chiefs. The Manchester Fire Department operates out of 10 fire stations throughout the city, and operates a fire apparatus fleet of 10 engines, 4 trucks, 2 staffed, 2 cross manned by the engine, 1 rescue, and 1 district chief, 2 if manpower permits. The Manchester Fire Department responds to over 26,000 emergency calls annually. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Notable people. Topic: Sister cities. Manchester, United Kingdom. Neustadt and Der Wien Strasse, Rhineland Palatinate, Germany. Taichung, Taiwan. Tel Aviv, Israel. Gweru, Zimbabwe. Topic. See also. List of mayors of Manchester, New Hampshire. West Side, Manchester, New Hampshire. Topic Gallery. Equals equals notes.